Anywho. Hello, everyone. We're gonna go back to playing Franbo now. Yeah. Hopefully everything works and there's not a problem. It works. Very nice. Okay. We're gonna continue where we left off. Are these my pills? Wow. But what are they going? Where are they going? Did they just run away? The fuck? I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they're on a string. I see, I see. Uh... Home. I guess home is in that direction. Uh, I wouldn't trust that sign, child. Pills, don't move! Ugh. Want... You want to show me the way back home? This is sketchy. Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little... What? To build a little tree house on. How lovely. Uh, the, the, the moon. I wonder if those berries are good to eat. Even if they are, I can't reach them. What about these berries? Mmm, delicious berries. Eat the berries. The berries. Alright, alright, moving on. Okay. Oh. That was snatched. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend. Bad, bad. Oh, uh, what should I do now, kitty? We're trapped forever. Um, I have a knife. Oh, I don't like that face. Thanks, kid. Gotta love ads. Yep. Hello. Fan, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? Huh, I think I managed quite well for my s quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made my sis the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believe it was me. Come on, Calvin. Also first? Yes, you are first. You see, but that's just... That's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Uh, Take me home. Take me home. I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm, Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. I like this man. He's probably gonna eat me, but I like him. Let's go, tall man. Oh my dear, we should, should we trust Edward? I don't know, my dear. Let's pretend we do. So he won't think we are scared of him, alright? Alright, kitty. I can do that. Hello. The fuck is this? Behold, the itward, itward flying machine. What do you think? Uh, I love it. There's many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 2.30 yet. 3.35 yet. That sounds great. But what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It is when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to e enter the ultra reality. Inside the Ultra Reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the em endless limits of the second reality. But you are already part of the third reality, do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help beginning water and 
fire berries, alright? Uh, alright. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. A lovely bucket. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick because of the fire. Alright, but sir, can I just ask what do you need the berries in the water? Ah, well, berries are incredibly good fuel and last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The columns. Oh, commas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are invisible to your eyes, you see? Here. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. Ah, it's okay, sir. I defeated that trap, like, in one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Look at them. Doing things. I like this bird. Wow, mechanical bird. This is grand. Oh, wonderful. You can sing, birdie bird. I guess they will get to fly when we depart, okay? Okay. This is horrifying. Ew, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this is Bran is me, but from some other place. Who took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty, tasty flesh. You're the calmness, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Wow, so much hair, and so shiny. I feel like a magical world affair. Mmm, delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. They're just regular berries, not on fire berries. Wow, so much hair, so shiny. Okay, okay. Those are on fire. Hello, dear. Get out, get out. You're trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? I have. You have no manners, young lady. I am very sorry. But you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you misunderstand the situation. Misunderstanding? Why would you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I am not a moose. I am... A deedle worm? A deadly worm? Excuse me, a deadly... Worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deedle worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what the creatures took from it and don't need it anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, look at him. He's cute. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Uh, my name is Fran. Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire. But I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Can't take the fire berries, they are on fire. Works if I had water. Okay, I have to go get water in the bucket. Hell! Hell, well, I don't want to go there. The sign is a bit confusing. It has two destinations. So much hair, so shiny. Hey, it's you again! Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. Uh, I met your kind. I met some of your kind before I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Are you stuck? Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We are just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Oh, there's a bridge. I knew that we were on the other side. It was very odd. We fell into Istra. There was no water. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Maybe the magic door into Istra is underwater. Okay, but I also need to... Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. I wonder if we really fell. Okay. What if I give you the bucket? 
I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to my hair? Wow, that- why? That sounds insane. Oh no, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please let me. Alright, we'll help you. Tie the bucket to the real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill the whole bucket, please. The bucket is now full of water. Ah, uh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but doesn't home belong somewhere? I don't understand. Wait, I'm sorry, I don't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question, I just wanted to say that. You are your own home. Welcome yourself inside, and you'll find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye! Give me the bucket. The bucket is full of water. It doesn't weigh anything. That's weird. Also, I want to check out this, uh, box of box. I wonder why Pathos given me it. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it just can't be open at all. Okay. Moving along. Get out, scavengers. Uh, climb again? It's me, sir. Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead. The fire is gone. I can take the berries now. I can't just pull them off with my hands. They are firmly attached. Uh, here's a knife. A knife. Bucket is filled with water. Okay. Uh, get get down off the moose. Over. Hello. Uh, here's the bucket. Sir, it, here's the bucket full of water. I get help from the shiny insects. You mean the Luciferians? These, they are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They are very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to so thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. Huh, here's a berry. Sir, I brought the fire berries, but they are not on fire anymore. Magnificent, they will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. In I go. Come on, Midnight. I'm afraid he's gonna get locked out. It's fine. You got it. Okay. There it goes. Let's go! 236, we have a great responsibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Uh, understand more. Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are not as easy to recognize. Sounds strange. Huh. Sounds strange to me, sir. As time goes on, as it has to... Time goes as it has to, in order for you to be alive. If all happens now, you probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly, you know that. You know what, I'd rather say, through time you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come to you when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you will always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries in the water you gathered before. You'll need to get them uh, to the water pump working. You'll need to get them to the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. Okay. You'll find all information you need when you enter the room to your left. But feel free to enter any, enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. I've never done this before. Uh, that makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. 
to my lap. I'm going to the right. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. Going in. Venus. Okay, hello. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. Oh, oh. What do I have inside, little bottle? Picked up hoses. Good big connection somewhere. Blue hose, ready to use. I don't know what this is. How's the game going? It is going well, I think. I don't know what any of this is, but I'm gonna pour that in there. Cool, we're not gonna fuck with this, because I don't know what that is. Reality view. Ultra reality view. Chemical mixture. Oh. Micronutrients in the fireberries will supercharge an engine and ensure that it lasts forever. Okay, so I have to... This is a lot. Reality and ultra reality. Hun interesting. It looks very chemical and fun. There must be a mixture for the fuel. Okay. I'm touching things. Probably shouldn't be touching things, but I'm touching things. Hmm. It's totally empty. Cool. We're gonna go in the other room. Hello. A ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. What is this? I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. It doesn't have wires. How does it work? Anywhere to talk to technology is very amazing. This is like a mathematical problem, but I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Okay. Lovely bears. They hold each other's hand. Many shoes. Maybe they are too tight or for the big it word. Many tiny gloves. They look a bit familiar. That's the King Tsar. I recognize him. Hmm, I see. Now they are friends. This is good. It makes me want to trust it, Bert. A clock! This lamp looks like a little... Like a teapot with forks and spoons. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying, honestly. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. But letters are alright. They tell stuff to imagine. I misunderstand stories sometimes, and they can be a great danger. What's... There's a hand up there. Many things to look at. I don't think I need any of this. It makes me wonder. Okay, we're gonna go in here. Oh. Okay, so it's this door. I'm gonna go through here. The door is closed. Maybe it worked and open it later. Oh, there's a lot of them. I wonder if it were really does love black, black cats. These dolls represent Mr. Midnight. It would be strange. Midward makes me wonder so many things. Okay, I guess we're gonna go fuck around with the fuel. We're gonna fuck around and find out. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this because I'm not gonna remember any of it. That's my face. We didn't want that. Cool, 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 cool. Aight, aight, aight. Now we're gonna fuck around with this. This is, starts with, uh... It was like an... It says AFM, but I don't know if we don't have that one. Let me see, AFM missing. Okay. I need that one. I think this should be turned on in order to work. Yeah, I would like, turn it on. Turn it on! Do I have to light a match? I need, uh, I need that in this one. Uh, I have a match. R15, and then this tubey tube needs to go into this one, which this needs to be A18?
This one needs to be 2 PF. And then we need a 2v2. Uh, I think I fucked up the hoses. Do I have another hose? I don't have another hose. Fuck around and find out time? Absolutely. It's always fuck around and find out time. That. I, I don't even know if that's right. The fire berries, they aren't fire into base. Uh. Okay. Oh god, okay. So this one... I don't know what these do. I can't take the hoses back, so... What? I am assuming that's correct. Do I still have the fireberries? I don't. I put them in there, so I guess that's just where they go now. Burning quite a lot. That's good. Okay. This goes into this. And then this... This one needs to go into this one. And that creates this one. I don't... I don't know what's happening. How does one use said thing? So you have it side, little model. Okay. Couple of Go on. Get out of here. What if I... Some things just don't work. Okay. I can't help. I blocked this part from memory. Fair enough. I took a picture of the, like, poster over there. And so I'm trying to follow it. But I, it's not going well. Also, this is all connected. What's this? They says no flowers, we'll just leave it there. I don't need this pencil, I already have a crayon. <laughs> Are those to drink water? They're quite small. Can I touch this at all? Wow, that's a huge spinning top. Yeah. These lights show for sure that something is working. The compass goes in circles upside down in nowhere. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, alright. What's this? Uh, oh, this looks like some kind of water pump. I don't understand the language, but at least there are drawings. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go fuck this thing. We're gonna... Light a match. I can't turn on the fire, there's no gas coming from the pipes. What about, what about, what about now? I can't turn on the fire, there's no gas coming from the pipe. Okay. All of a sudden, another puzzle I did in the other game feels easy despite the fact that I cried trying to solve it. Oh! It's fine. We'll, f we'll figure... We'll figure this out. Okay, this is like the ingredient that's F AFM that's supposed to go in here, but I put the berries in there, so it, 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 that's what's happening now. And this one's supposed to be A18. Make sure that's right. 2PF. This one. And then R15. And then this one is N61. And then these are supposed to do something. And then these are supposed to be like that. Uh, 
and I like light the fireberries. <laughs> What brain cell? Hi guys, it's a horror survival puzzle game. It kind of is, yeah. With what brain cells do you have? With what brain cell? We have none, it's okay. Giving that laser pointer you and Snail did? Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, I'm struggling. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm gonna look around. Bring it this way. Uh... I haven't looked at everything. I think that word has style. Okay. Hey, guy! Sir, can you tell me again what I was supposed to do? Sir, get the water pump working, the fuel mixed. Just follow the wall manuals. It's like manual, but it's on the walls. That was not help. Alright, I'm intrigued in this now. I'm glad. Wait. What the fuck is this? Hmm, keyhole requires a key for sure. Do I have a key? I do not. Feels like something is missing. Okay. Oh, maybe I can, uh, you know. That's horrifying. Let's go. Hey. Thanks for the key. You should have been here earlier than Franbo and Little Misfortune are classics. Yeah. Are you here to kill Itward? Hello, why won't you talk to me? Oh, I don't like- I don't like your face. What's wrong with your face? I'm very so far, sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. I think they deserved it. It's fine. Another one is Sally Face. I want Sally Face so fucking bad. What is that? Seconds and minutes and hours, days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. Forgot to give myself some love. Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Okay. I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. Oh, also, there's a, another fucking pipe right here. Look, there's all the pipes and stuff. Hell yeah. I can buy it for you. <laughs> I fucking might take you up on that because I really want Sally Face. I watched somebody play it, I can't remember if it was Jack or Mark, a, like, a while ago, and I fell in love with the game. Chaos works for favors, and by fairs, so I mean games that are worth it. Really, do. Okay, okay, I got, I got these. Hmm, this one doesn't fit here. What if I, um, combine these? Negative? Okay. Okay, we get, we're going somewhere. It was probably Jack. Probably. I've never seen the last episode, though. And I chose to do that so that I would actually be able to play it and not have, like, the final piece. I watched somebody play it before the final one was even out. Uh, this one goes there. Yeah, okay, I did it. Thanks for the lurk! Gotta go back to work, see you the lurk. Okay. Good luck at work, have fun! Don't stress yourself out too much. Can I light- can I light this now? Can't turn on- what if I- Can't turn on the fire, there's no gas coming from it. Okay. Um... Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna look at this thing. Okay. I turn that, that has to be straight, these have to be connected, that has to be down, and then this has to have water? Looks like some kind of water pump, don't understand. Okay, okay, okay. I've seen all of it, but episode 5 is kind of fuzzy on the details in my head. It's been so long, I won't even remember anything of what to do. Oh no. Those seems to be damaged. Do I have anything to fix that? It's fine. I watched it during the lockdown and everything is a blur, but I'll stay hush, I'll know what I know. Yeah, yeah. Shh, it's fine. Okay, we did that. What, what just happened? Super 
Sure you know. Do I have to pick up something? Uh, it doesn't look like I think it's done. Super chemistry master Franbo. Okay. Let's go talk to the guy and see if I did it. Hey you! Sir, can you tell me again what I was supposed to do? Oh, okay. I already I already yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Go go through the hole. Uh, cause this one has a little key, and I have a little key. There you go, let's see what happens. Story time! In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide if they wanted... if they... if what they want was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they were both mad. Oh, silly insane girls. Inside of their minds. It were the creature of the night. He came always around in their dreams or reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand... Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was grey. But Clara and Mia one day decided... To get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. In the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sued their bodies together. To prove they could. That they could. They gave you a mirror to complete compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. Until you... You have until the day the black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Oh. Hello? Probably have to cover that pipe. Probably. It's just- it's just them. Can I open this? The door is closed. Okay. Hey, it word. Bye, it word. Um, how does one cover said pipe? Do I have anything? No. Yeah, the theory is rightfully so. They were a part of an old experiments for the time period. That's horrifying. A ventilation swirl. I don't touch it. I could harm myself. It's probably a wise idea. The host seems to be damaged. Fran. Trying things up. In this case, it won't do any good. Fair enough. Um. What's this? Look at this mess. Edward doesn't know anything about hygiene. But, he's, but he does know about mechanical things. Maybe he keeps these parts to make new ones. Which were all just fucked up ones you hear, like, creating conjunctions. Yeah, really. Oh, look, some tape! I'll keep this duct tape, is always good for fixing stuff. Yeah, good thing, because we need it! Okay. 
ba 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 Yeah, it's like it's... Give myself a hug for being so clever. Okay. Hello! Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything it looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you were afraid of rabbits. There is a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all things I've seen, I can't imagine one... I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. Staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Well, let's go uh, get rid of a rabbit, I guess. Let me in. Let me in! There. See, it's just sitting there. Isn't that a strange behavior? It's just a toy. From what I see, it's just a toy. It won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Alright, sir, I'll take the rabbit and I'll show you there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm afraid to touch the rabbit. It's like watching Alice and the Mad Hatter. It really is. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. You took my cat! What? Don't go, Mr. Midnight! This is not funny! Oh, why did I scare Edward? Anyway, you are very cute. Ugh, won't turn on. What should I do? I don't know. We're gonna touch this. Uh, the wrench. It can be useful. Yep. I got some carrots. Ooh, I got a carrot. Mmm, tasty carrot. Uh, Edward made a paper boat. Paper boat. Ha 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 ha. Mm, hello, are you Edward's other head? I like that hat. One equals Enna. Okay. Oh, one. I don't see two. Oh, two. Uh, three, four, five. Plus two. This. Try. Streak. Crats. Okay. Um. Oh! I can see why that would terrify you. Oh, mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry or both. I'm gonna feed you a carrot. Carrot for the big rabbit boy. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Can I get another carrot? Mmm, tasty carrot. So obviously I need to feed the rabbit and then probably like... Oh, mechanical arm, are you alive? I think it likes to push buttons. Well, wow, a button made the floor rise like an elevator. Oh, it's coming back down. Looks like the machine needs some kind of energy to wake up. Oh, I have, I have, I have, I have a thing! Shh! There's a paper behind him? Ah. Oh, I hate this, thank you. Yeah. Looks like a small ventilation swirl. Something's missing here. Do I have a something? I do not. Cables connecting with each other. Okay, uh, sir, I'm gonna feed you another carrot. Also, that doll is now me. Why did you scare it? Word anyway, you're very cute. Okay, use the taste carrot on the bunny. We're gonna look at the paper behind him. Strike, and then an arrow going this way. Oh, it goes from five 
that's six now. What is this one? Eight? Oh, it... Odd. Even. Okay, I have no clue what any of that means. There's some lights here. These bulbs, I don't know whether they stay turned on or turned off. Okay. Grab another carrot. Just to have it. Is it this box? No. Okay. Turn this. Red is lying, maybe something is broken. Can I just... What? A, a battery. Can I stick it in here? Uh... Here you are. Battery placed. Now it works, yes. What did that do? Ah. Oh. Hello? A water symbol, I guess, that's connected to something. Are you? Oh! How lovely. This is to make music without with the wind? Oh. I've seen the movies, the thief always knows what to do. Oh, this is the code! Oh, this is gonna be a bitch. Okay, back down in the hole. We gotta we gotta learn the code, boys. Hey kid, looks like a reenactment of your carrot's death. It's fine. Do these have arrows on them? No. Oh, I assume it's like one, two, three, four, five. So this is the order that they go in. And then I'm assuming when you take the... So, eight is one. This one's two. This one's three, four, five. So give the... Oh my god, this is gonna be a... Ah, it's fine. We'll figure it out. I have like three brain cells, my guy. Okay, eight, five, both going the same way. One, two, three. This is three. And then eight going that way. Oh god. So, eight, five, eight. And then six. Eight, five, eight, six. Eight, five, eight, six, nine. Okay, okay, I got this. Eight, five, eight, six, nine, and then I remember the directions we're gonna... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, five, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight five eight six three four five six nine one two three four five six seven eight nine Knocking I unlocked it. I did it Go go in the hole. I don't like this. Hmm. I don't see very well, it's quite dark. Oh, surprise, Rand! Happy birthday! Okay. Oh, a birthday party. Wow, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool, it, fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. Alright, thank you, kitty. It really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. The cake is made of all the ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something special for you from all the members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. 
I hope you find it educational. What? What is that? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. Okay. Oh, it's cute! Does the cake include the blood of my enemies? Yes. Wow, a cat doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception. You know, like ultra reality. Uh, is that what happens when I take the bread pills, sir? Is it the ultra reality that I see? Well, it depends. Do you like... Would you like some explanations? Yes. Please. Look. What you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact corner of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can differ the past, present, and future. Defining those things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I, I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, ha ha ha. This may be the ship going up and down. Blow out the candles now, dear. We are about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Wow, really? How exciting. Here I go. Takes me back to the fucking mental ward. That was terrifying. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dear. What's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds... I didn't read that. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. And the automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. Uh, how do I do that, sir? Water. It cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, Fran. My Fran. We have to find Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Do we have water anymore? Is this still full? The handmade bucket. It were made. It. It's empty. What if I... I'm clever enough to find another solution. What is this? I'm trying to remember how to fuck it. Oh! I did it! Okay. Now what do I do? Hi, kids. It's fine. Hi! We're gonna just... Fuck it with this guy. Fuck this guy. Ah! Ugh, don't run away. Where are you going? Fuck. Uh... I don't have a bucket anymore. Please don't move. I have to pour some water on you. I, I don't... I don't have a bucket anymore. Can I have the teapot? This lamp looks like a teapot. Okay. My guy. My buddy. My pal. My friend. Him with a water bottle. I don't have a water bottle. Like a cat? I absolutely would. Hmm, this music makes me think of forks. That's oddly specific. Can we go in here again? Hello, weird bunny rabbit thing. What a lovely little tree. Okay, we're gonna... What if I... What? How do I... I don't have a bucket! It opened, there's a keyhole. I wonder what would happen if I found the key. Okay.
The water symbol, I guess, that's connected to something. However... Muffins, cakes, orange juice. Mm. Ew, orange juice with all that. Lick water him, that's what I'll do. Uh, my guy, my buddy, pal, friend, sir. Remember the advertisement for Butt Jewel and their cat? Well, I do remember that. His face says no flowers. Yeah, but that can be used to pour water. Do I talk to you? Please, sir, I... Excuse me? I need your help. Uh, I can't help now. I have to find the French in the driving machine. I can't find it, but I can't find the Kamala. That's because it's hiding. Go into the ultra reality. Okay. What? What? Sir, are your shoes made out of human flesh? Honestly, I have no idea what I thought of that. Feet for free? I'm sorry! Oh my god, get out of here! Azuka! Edward has style. Okay, uh, what about this? What? Get ready. Okay. Go, go, go the other way. I can't move anymore. There we go. Game over. Why? Okay, okay, we're gonna go back. <laughs> I wonder what this machine does. For sure, many things not in nothing at all. Okay. We need more water. Uh. Did it, like, my bucket get, like. Hey, you. Seconds, minutes, hours, days. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, I don't care what you have to say, I guess. Ah, uh, my favorite part of puzzles. When I don't have any fucking brain cells. Not taking the obvious solutions. Shh. Pick the face, Fran. Yeah, really, though. My guy. I can't, like, turn this on. A water teapot. However, this is a massive, dangerous weapon. Teapot water throw. This is a massive and dangerous weapon. Yeah. Oh! Hey, oh. oh, I missed. I didn't know I could activate it. Hi, Spider! I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Yes, yes, you should. It's all gross up here now. Are you here to kill Itward? I don't like the light. Light looks like a teapot. Why are I gonna... It was that easy to forget. I didn't know you could turn it on. I thought you had to have the bucket to fill it. How is you? I am good. How are you? It were third we did it. The Camilla is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. No, please don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. Cries. She just just crying. I'm okay. Okay. Thought we needed to book it too. Okay. I will always take care of you, my dear. I like this guy. The ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. 
Look at us go. Pew. Big explosion. Wipe up. The end? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's a very sad ending, it were. Please tell me another story. Alright, this is the story of Franbo and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise it, word. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. What the fuck is happening? Except me and your dream something. I couldn't read that one. Uh, we are going brown. What are we? The Titanic. We're gonna start some booze, jazz, a sink of shit. Chapter 4, part 2. Doctor's Prescription. I thought I was in chapter 3. Ah. It's a deer. No, come back! The emotes on the bottom are stuck. Ah. What? It word? Ow, kitty. We are alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we are alive. Be right back. Okay. Hmm. But Itward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? We are already home? I thought you would be happier about that. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medication to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. See, the bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come to me someday. Spider's Elo. Little Emos. We're down there, decapitated. Oh no! That's so sad. Anyway, a bike. I can't. I can't. A red bicycle. This is. Is this it? Words bicycle or mine? I don't know. We're gonna go this way. Oh my goodness! This is our street, Kitty Hayes Street. Yes, it is. Thank you for that, babe. It says Hay Street, then my house is in that direction. Uh, can I- I can't touch anything. Is this my house? Is this where my parents killed? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. I don't think she's gonna. We're having a wholesome moment, damn. Didn't know you put a recording of yourself on here. Oh my god. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, kitty. But there's a key hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. In the rose bush. Oh. Mr. Midnight, would you like to... Would you like some more adventure? Not really, no. Why are you asking me, my dear? I thought that maybe you would like to climb on this plant holder. Oh no, I'm too tired. Okay. Uh... Key hidden somewhere. I understand, my friend. We need to get inside the house. Yes, but you said there was already a key hidden somewhere. But, Kitty... Alright, Fran, I'll climb up only if we don't find the key. That's a weird statement, Kitty. How will we ever know if we can't find... How will we ever know if the key can't be found? I don't know. Let's search. I'm sorry, little insects, don't run away. Oh. I'm sorry, little insects, don't run away. Oh. I took the key. It says I took the key. You signed Fran. Fran, that's me. I haven't taken the key and I didn't write that note. This is also confusing. What should I do now? Come here, kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it is very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh, alright. Then wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Up we go! Look at him go. That's window. Make my room. Mr. Mena, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. No! Fuck this guy! Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where are you? 
Uh, don't take me back. Dr. Dean, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? Uh, through the yellow door? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have a key, but Mr. Midnight is inside right now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end, sir. May I ask, why are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You have to come with me then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. No! Run! <laughs> Mr. Midnight! He just opens the door. Oh, hello. That's a lot of fucking guys. Fuck you! I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about that? That feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murder on Hazel's body is perfectly sliced. Maria and Lucas Bo Dehart were found earlier this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigation. Young man, sit up straight. Fine. I did it. Orky big guys in a white couch. No! Uh, it seems the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise. They were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dehart. Luca's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest of the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Am I dead? Dear Gladius, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from home after her finding about finding about her parents' murder. Friend Bo is no free from all pain. I hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Uh, who told her to lie about me? I am not dead. But I'm not dead, sir. It's all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medication was switched. You were given a new variant of Dutyan. Uh, when I looked in the la at it in the laboratory, it the levels of Echo Plamin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplanet creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if that is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? Is this why the game got so many Frans? There are just so many questions unanswered? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, I can see the ultra reality, sir. I also traveled into other worlds. Ultra reality, that must be the consequence of the duty, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medication, I could show you. You don't need that medication anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. It's all in my head, you say? Then may, may I be able to control it? I mean, that you're imagining things? That's all. Ah! I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father wouldn't, would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arm is hurt. Oh dear, you're... Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't, you, sir. I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. You look weird. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is all behind this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? Ugh. Ugh. How do you yawn? Ugh. I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents, and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Istra with Paul Ross and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Planthros. My kitty is all alone. Ranthos Inward. Fran, please. Ranthos is the doctor of Astray. He is a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. 
It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw my mother and Fran, too. Twins. What twins? Girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of Clara and Mia's case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something? Edward. I think you're misunderstanding, Stan. It's Itward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sued them together. Mostly to see the reactions of DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Oof. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so I, you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. I don't understand who won't take ideas. Kids' ideas a bit serious? Yeah, really, though. Especially all this. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Francis was right about you. You're not a bad doctor, just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Okay, I'll trust you. For now. Oh, ad break! Here we are! But well, this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? Oh. Oh, big yawn. I'm tired. You'll see. Come, follow me. Catch you on the flip side. Well, oh, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't. A crowbar. Hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Hmm, the key barracks. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. Can't be put to press all the buttons. Never touched a ceiling wheel before. Father never allowed that. But now I'm on my own. I can do vroom vroom! <laughs> I can't press the horn, the doctor knows I'm here, I'll be in trouble. I love that. For her. Anyhow, I got a crowbar. Let's go. Hello. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Uh, why bring me here? Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how... They are. Your parents are killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean? What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, and for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deedle worm can come already. Hmm? Hmm. Anyways, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, alright? Yes, Mr. Duran, I'll see you soon. There he go. Wonder what the lady was hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? Absolutely. Martin Bow. Hello, Father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. So I'm not angry at you anymore, but I miss you a lot. I promise it will be happy. It's not fair to see you be sad all the time. Can you help me exhume your parents' bodies? Really, though? Luca Bo de Heart. Dragon Heart. Mommy was very. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Mommy, this is very hard, knowing that you're not around anymore. That really makes me feel lost in the world. But I promise I'll do my best. I'll be happy, Mommy. I love you so much, Mommy, and I'm always will. Goodbye. Brand Bo, huh? I wonder who come up with a lie like this one. Now I remember seeing myself dead in the asylum. But why? Why just me? I know the big monster wants me dead, but that doesn't mean the asylum has to do with the monster. But what does the asylum have to do with the monster? A rose. This is for the bad smell of rotten bodies. A lovely little bear. I must take care of my parents. A little candle. A little candle to keep my parents warm. Okay. Let us go! She's protecting a ladybug she found? Absolutely. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. Oh, it's stuck. Must be a shovel storage room. Just my luck. I'm gonna use a fucking crowbar. Because you can't stop me. What the- Oh, hi. You scared me. Shh. You have to keep it down, Fabo. Oh, but I'm not Fabo. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness. A giant. Uh, don't be scared. Please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. 
think you see because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. Tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. I don't want to help you get your freak on. Fabio. It's fine. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Last year we used old human skid, but Dita Worm wanted back. Uh, so we were looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. <clears throat> Sebastian, would you do me the favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me from inside. I could do that, but we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, alright, giant miss? Uh, but wherever will I find that? Ugh. Alright, I'll see what I can do. What do I have? Uh... Nothing. Okay. And I... The car seats are quite comfortable. What if I, uh... Oops, big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. Don't worry about it. She's just gonna cut up the car. Also, where did that guy go? He went... He just... He just left. The left the cemetery. He's like, fucking later. Here you go. I hope you use this responsibly. That's very creepy. Wow, thanks, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pinezolius, will be happy. And now, I'll open the door. Just a second. Are, are you alright? Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm... I'm alright, Miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, Giant Miss. Eh. Uh, Fabio? There he goes. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. They're gonna go fuck now. Huh, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Ugh, I can't dig with a broom. Oh. There you are, friend. Looks like I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. All that for nothing. Diggy dig dig. Well, now we have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar. Sorry, I needed to open the door. What do you do? You want it back? No need, friend. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. I. Okay. All right, the coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. All right, uh, we're gonna open mine first. Should we? No, we're gonna open the parents first. My goodness, father, the deedle worm took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me how... Who took you away from me. What's this big bad monster, daddy? Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. But I guess you were taken as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is that bad comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. At least we helped two pine cones get their freak on? Yeah. Hey. Oh. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great, but that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Did you see something? Anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, the dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Brand, I told you, your cat was missing and... Maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. We still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. I'm cre I don't know how I feel about this guy. Ah! Hello. Please, um... Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The ones you love, the ones you respected. And the ones you desire to love you. Fuck you. That's not very nice, sir. Ugh, Calvert, you're what? Hi.
I don't know how I feel about this guy. Rumor got you, fam. Yeah. You broken little girl. The House of Bandits invites you inside. No! You want to find those who you love? In darkness, you must wake up. Oh. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Hey, kid. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. However, I am going to be ending it here. After, as, as soon as I can. Oh, we're going into a cutscene. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. I am? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed your, my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? I think it was you. Uh, but you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Now, rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran. Don't worry about the lies. Seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. I don't like you. Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. It's a crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is layered in reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or maybe I'm just imagining things, but it's true. How could I make contact with her? Mr. Dean said everything is in my head. Uh, okay. However, I am ending it here when I can. Because it is time to end. Anywho, I hope you all enjoyed. I will probably be playing this next chapter tomorrow. If you want to step by and hang out. Uh, I hope you all liked it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye!